I just saw the movie Kingsman here in the Oceanside movie theater. The Kingsman was a pretty bizarre cast of characters, including uh, Jeff Bridges, Elton John, um, I think it was Susan Sarandon. Um, Colin Firth, Hale Berry, and the list goes on. Uh, Channing Tatum. It was kind of a James Bond type of film. Included both British and American characters. And they had to do with a drug deal, drug dealer, and a drug that epidemic. She tainted all the drug, all the illegal drugs, heroin and meth and everything. She tainted it with something that caused them all to come down with, with a, a deadly a deadly illness. And that's, uh, unless they agreed that the President of the United States agreed to her, her ransom, then she would release the antidote. The president, meanwhile, well, the president, uh, decided he would, he would pretend to go along with it, and that it was a win-win that he could get rid of the drug dealers uh, and the druggies. That's why he's trying to portray the president as kind of a uncaring conservative type of guy would just as soon let all the druggies die and there's a lot of shooting and killing and special uh, effects and special weapons just like you see in the James Bond movies uh, it's all kind of neat in that, in that regard I mean this is for a Christian this is a movie review for Christians by the way so there's nothing redeeming Nothing of redemptive value in this for Christians. Definitely not for kids. It's rated R. There's no n real nudity, I don't think it was. Maybe, oh, there was a little bit, yeah. Uh, a lot of profanity, effort, upwards, and things like that. But uh, really just not a very nice movie. Uh, I mean, kind of humorous in some some respect for for adults you could you could catch some of the humor I guess but I wouldn't recommend it I wouldn't spend your money on it wait till it comes out on DVD or something if you really must see this I do this uh, just to review the movies for Christians and I wouldn't recommend this for Christians there's nothing edifying although there is one theme you could pull out out of it for it's, it's the redemptive redemption of those who sin, those who have abused drugs, and making it worthwhile to try to save their lives, even though they've been they've messed them up themselves. Just like Jesus saved sinners, even though we sin at our own free will, at our own expense. So in that regard, there is kind of a, a Christian theme you could pull out of it rag out of it uh, but I don't like the portrayal of conservative president as being a jerk and a stupid and all self-serving and just con self self-concerned about himself I don't like the way they treated the, the devil agent either at the end there and fed him to the uh, the meat eater the meat grinder because his his girlfriend or wife who was pregnant got killed by two meth meth heads fighting at a convenience store or something. So he was out to get rid of all the druggies, and then they treated him in like he was the main jerk. You know there is a balance there. You know yes, let's try to save uh, mankind from their own self destructiveness. That's what Jesus did for our sins. But 
at the same time, let us also try to stop sin. Stop the sin. And that that's, that's not something that should be should be killed or eliminated. We shouldn't kill the preachers because they're preaching against sin. That's a problem there. You see that very leftist liberal agenda at play in this movie. You don't kill the, the preacher because he preaches against sin. Even though, you know, you don't like to hear it all the time. You get tired of it. Uh, that's, a, that's another uh, takeaway from this. Uh, beware of the leftist liberal agenda that tries to make us overly sympathetic for those who waste their lives through drugs and not at all sympathetic or concerned about those who try to save lives through evangelism, telling the good news, uh, cautioning others about good health prevention, good health practices, preventing of Ill illness prevention, things like that. So let's try to keep that in mind, that balance. And we pray for any of those who are addicted to drugs, any of those who are dealing drugs, shame on you. Lord, we pray for them. Anybody can anybody in in the drug illegal drug business to be converted to Jesus Christ to accept you as savior lord god father son and holy spirit to to humble themselves we pray that they'll humble themselves lord kneel down bow down make christ the king of their lives and be saved and be set free from all their addictions and neurotics neuroses and all that stuff Hear our prayer, Lord, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.